ये इंट्रो मैं अपने मनी मैटर्स एपिसोड के बाद रिकॉर्ड कर रहा हूँ मैंने किसी भी मनी मैटर्स एपिसोड का इंट्रो शूट नहीं किया सीधे अंदर कॉन्वर्सेशन में घुस जाते हैं इस हफ्ते के मनी मैटर्स का ये स्टार्ट है लेकिन इसमें मैं इंट्रो इसलिए डाल रहा हूँ क्योंकि ये एपिसोड बहुत अलग है इसमें हम कोई भी एक्सेल शीट नहीं यूज़ करेंगे इसमें हम एक नंबर का जिक्र भी नहीं करेंगे कोई इनकम क्या है कोई एक्सपेंसिस क्या है नहीं क्योंकि ये बहुत 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 ज़्यादा इमोशनल एपिसोड निकला मैंने ये एंटिसिपेट नहीं किया था राघवेंद्र जो इस एपिसोड के आज के गेस्ट हैं उनकी कहानी ने बहुत सारे लेसन्स छोड़ दिए एंड मैं तीन आपके साथ फंडामेंटली शेयर करूँगा टुवर्ड्स दी एंड आप एपिसोड देखिए इसमें उनकी ज़िंदगी कैसे इस फाइनेंशियल टर्मोइल से बाहर निकल पाती है वो हम बात नहीं कर पाए लेकिन जो हमने बात करी वो मेरे ख्याल से उससे भी ज्यादा जरूरी थी वॉच द एपिसोड आई एम श्योर यू एंजॉय इस हफ्ते के मनी मैटर्स में हमारे साथ है राघवेंद्र ऑल द वे फ्रॉम चेन्नई वेलकम राघवेंद्र हेलो एवरीवन प्लेजर टू बी ऑन द शो Lovely, fantastic. So, क्या आप चेन्नई से ही है आर यू लोकलाइट और आर यू स्टेइंग द राइट नाउ या and uh, you know to tell about myself a little bit uh, i have a 17 year corporate background i work for companies like uh, wipro capgemini decathlon barclays consero etc in uh, different capacities from a finance and accounting and audit role and then uh, my dad was a ca he passed away last year i'm a cs qualified uh, person so i limited my uh, ca to internal audit and then uh, uh, my movies has uh, had always been my passion and i'm pursuing my passion finally after 20 years you know in tamil they used to say ni modalla padi appra nadi which means pehle padao ta unke baad do whatever you want kind of a story so that's how i started and finally i'm glad that uh, after 22 decades my passion is you know being becoming my profession and, and uh, that is that's so amazing. so so wonderful to hear that is so wonderful to hear i love this so you went into the corporate circle did everything you are a qualified ca and now you are pursuing CS. your cs you are qualified cs, CS company yeah, secretary yeah. and and now you are pursuing your desire and dream to act have you have you learned acting uh, raghavendra formally yeah, or yeah. is it something that comes yeah, from within last, last two years i have been uh, uh, taking uh, acting lessons uh, from few coaches and online wow. and combination of the, that and then uh, and and few by luck could have it you know i had a few uh, people in the industry uh, who had uh, who had been my school and uh, college mates they they were all my uh, they are all my acting seniors now and even industry seniors in different departments of uh, film making and uh, i got a little bit of uh, viral kind of a thing in one of the event and uh, that uh, sparked a uh, interest again and then i've taken the proper lessons and still i'm not i'm not there <laughs> after two years i i still feel that you know i have to start from scratch and then every day i need to practice be regular be more disciplined and be more uh, you know professional in whatever i do and then uh, i need to uh, build the scale uh, again my god that is such an inspiring story who who all are there in your family raghavendra yeah i have my wife uh, swati we been married for 8 years more than 8 years now this is a good start so so tell me raghavendra when you when you filled up the form for money matters yeah what was it that you had in mind what it is that you wanted to accomplish through this call anything that you need help with anything that you want to know yes. tell me Yeah. See, what happened was, see, I had been a very uh, right from the day I started earning. I think back in back from 2005, even when I was assisting that part time, I had I had always been very cautious about money. Uh, whatever I earned, I I used to you know put 20, 30 percent to savings, and the rest I I, I uh, take care of my expenses and stuff. But then uh, after uh, almost with that pattern for about till about uh, 2014, so that's almost a decade. uh i i you know i put uh, tax save deposit because i advise my dad's clients and so when i see they filing their returns and everything i i also got that knowledge and i had to, i was very conservative would say uh then after a decade uh, of so something got to be i don't know what happened uh i became very aggressive and the next entire decade i, I had no savings 
uh, I told my dad, I'm just going to break free. And he said, okay, do whatever you want. <laughs> yeah, he was not going to listen to me. And then I, I, went, I ventured into acting, took uh, acting lessons. At that point of time, I was working for Infosys. I quit my job. And then uh, I, I took a loan and then I couldn't pay it for a month. One EMA or something got missed. One, one turning point lesson was, see, my dad and myself, we would have watched about 2000 films in theaters uh, over the over two decades. So I would have I would have spent about whatever I earned, you know, roughly 20, 30 lakh stops uh, over watching films. So we used to discuss films. And, and then uh, when this happened, uh, we saw one movie, Dawn. Uh, that movie had a similar character. You know, the father wouldn't uh, permit the son to... Uh, uh, take a film uh, career and then, and then he told me uh, no, yes uh, go ahead and uh, you just give it a shot keep your audit perspective very light and then you pursue your passion let's see what happens you try for uh, uh, you know five or ten years and then anyways you have your qualification cs qualification and then after your 50 you just sign up for practice and then if nothing works out you still have your uh, qualification to survive so don't yeah don't lose out of the opportunity anyways i'm, I'm 39 now so anyways you're nearing 40 so that's how it's going to be so this he said uh, six months before his death, as it may be six or nine months before his death, and uh, he, he he kept writing me letters and he kept sending me messages, as preparing me for his final pass over, and he told and he said it, this is more like a scene from T eight hundred, you know that that, that 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 we had a very good uh, uh, bonding with that film because when I was when I was a kid, I, I used to be like the kid from the film, and then my dad we be like uh, the T eight hundred. Uh, I, I looked at him like that. He was my he had always been my hero. And then he said, see, I'm in flesh, I can, uh, that's how I pass off. And then, uh, then eventually that happened. The 10 years back, you know, won't believe, 10 years back, he, he told me, you know, when, when, I'm, when I'm passing uh, the wave, I, I need to be on my uh, uh, wife's lap. And then I don't want my sons to be around. It's a very personal moment and that's how I want to die. And exactly 10 years later, uh, that's how he died. Uh, my, he was in my mom's lap and he breathed his last. And even I was not, I was not there and my uh, brother was not there. And uh, in fact, when when we when he sent uh, when we sent him into the cremation, you know, this thing that was the only time ever in my life that I could remember that my, my brother and myself we kissed my uh, dad uh, goodbye. So that's how difficult it had been. But anyways, uh, taking inspiration from his lessons, uh, I I, I uh, with six months I had like uh, including my car loan, I had uh, almost uh, six, uh, eighty lakhs debt. I I never had so much debt ever in my life before. Uh, so uh, and and on top of that, I had you know quit my job. I had uh, I had taken a uh, you know I mean I had uh, work from work from home assistant financial controller role, and I also got the acting opportunity all at the same time. And even uh, the offer letter and, uh, and and one more opportunity acting opportunity came on the same uh, same day. And all these things happened. It was very difficult lessons. And then uh, I but I took the decision to quit my job. And one year I had time, and I I didn't, I didn't know what was happening. Uh, then finally I had a junior artist role in the movie Jailer and I saw I, 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 superstar Ashmey Khan is my idol uh, right from my beginning uh, for, so ever, ever since I could remember or even in my mom's womb I, <laughs> I think I was born to be a superstar fan something like that crazy about it and uh, my mom is also a super uh, diehard fan of his and then uh, uh, I uh, seeing him in flesh and uh, in fact I had gone the previous day for, to get a selfie from him and, and through an internal referral or something like that uh, a, a fan uh, uh, Organizer, he, he got to got me through uh, an opportunity, and two days I was there, and then all my pain went off because I was really missing my dad, and then see, uh, seeing my idol in, in screen, you know, in flesh, and, and and that was a turning point for me. That's when I I cemented my decision of uh, becoming an actor, and even just prior to that, after I quit my consider job, I on a flight, Prabhudeva sir was next to me. That was another coincidence. He told me okay, keep the job and do acting, and another within a week I found another job with the same pay. As a general manager, finance. That was the last uh, job that I was there. I could I could barely be there for three four months. I knew this this is uh, this is uh, you know this is not going to work out for me. So I had I had, I had uh, asked my junior. He is a qualified CS as and uh, pursuing CA final guy. He was more trained than me. I was supposed to manage him. I said you know you step over, you take it up. Uh, I'm I'm quitting my corporate career for good. And then I did that. By then, uh, why? What went uh, totally beyond my uh, my uh, you know tolerance limit was the online calls. They were very. Uh, so I had uh, issues with cash flows. I had, uh, uh, I, uh, you know, I had to quickly start my firm, Raghavendra and Co. And then my my uh, uh, company law complaints advisory and a little bit of internal audit, whatever I knew I could do. That I was fetching me only twenty thirty thousand a month. But then my commitments so was in excess of uh, lakh and twenty or even lakh and fifty at times. Uh, because uh, till then I had a proper twenty year civil uh, record for out of five fifty four payments. I had like five fifty three payments, and even that one, due to administrative reason, was cleared the next day. And then I had a perfect, almost 100% record and all my loans got approved instantly within six months. 
So suddenly I had to step up and I, I need to see what I could do and mobilize the funds. And then I had to rely back on my experience, what I learned from my dad and from my corporate work and my, my brother stepped in and uh, we had to sell a small portion of my property, share of property, got uh, mobilized some funds, pay off. First, the online loans because they were killing me with the online, online calls. Again and again and again and again, repetitively when I missed deadlines, just by a few days, the, age, the system was so strong, I, could, I couldn't do anything about it. And I even, I had to contemplate suicidal thoughts. My wife was getting really worried. I couldn't, I lost sleep. It was hell for one year. But then I, every time I rose up, every time I remember my dad and uh, the, I just fought back and uh, I'm just glad that, you know, all the seven, day lo seven online loans was closed, cleared after the property sale was done. And then uh, four credit cards are paid off and three credit cards. I just have you know, paid, paid the bare minimum and then I kept it on hold so that I could, I could keep it only for emergency purposes. And then uh, the interest, it was killing me 35, 40%. And uh, I, I, I somehow I just staying afloat and online loan. And uh, uh, I mean, uh, uh, car loan and bike loan. I, my dad gifted me a BMW G310R for clearing CS. And that also the first down payment of one lakh. We paid in four installment out of a TNC cooperative check. They didn't even have the, uh, you know, check uh, endorsed, I mean, uh, in their uh, accept payment acceptance method. So that's how we've been a uh, uh, middle class family and all these things were there. But one thing I decided, I don't want to give up on my standard of living. And one, another one is I had to uh, somehow mobilize. I believed in myself that I could do it. And uh, somehow now my friend stepped in. He's, uh, uh, he's a CA as well, my college buddy. He gave me 12 lakh 80,000 so far. So one year, uh, different payments. Whenever I, I was in critical condition, I used to step in with 80,000, 40,000, 50,000, even lakh. 90, 95,000 lakh and 20,000, something like that. And then uh, we were just seeing the uh, accounts yesterday and then it, it uh, has come, uh, come up to around uh, 12 lakh 80,000 so far without any interest. And uh, when I used to, I paid off all my uh, debts, I cleared off till March and then again, uh, due to elections and stuff, I didn't get any any job, uh, any assignments or freelance jigs or anything. And then the last three months, uh, so I, all my EMIs fa failed and then the car was almost about to go for takeover. Uh, uh, surrender and then with just 10, 10 minutes before I arranged a part payment and then another uh, again he with Avinash chipped in and uh, I paid another 70,000 and then avoided the takeover and then now I'm in a slightly reasonably better position and, uh, and now I need to uh, plan the next two quarters is very crucial for me so uh, just uh, trying really hard to sell another share of my property and then try to close off uh, the credit cards because uh, the interest is too high and then um, I already switched uh, credit to debit and just uh, these three cards, uh, I, I'm planning to switch to debit and, and then maybe keep one card just for emergency sake, sake for wife's grocery or something like that. Yeah. And I'm also the uh, next six months, I, I want to focus on my finance, you know, it's tax season and everything. I want to again, uh, rejig my uh, GST uh, knowledge and everything. And then uh, I need to get some assignments, market myself and then have steady cash flow so that I used to get a lakh and uh, with, with with bonus and a lakh and a lakh and a half or something like that. So um, I'm targeting two lakhs uh, income per month so that you know I'm I'm in I'm in cash positive. So next six months. So this is this is my only plan. I'm not thinking beyond or uh, I'm not uh, getting getting back to my past. I'm just surviving for the next six months so that I make uh, probably uh, twelve lakhs and then pay pay off this uh, short term loan and then. Maybe if the land sale happens, then I want to pay off the personal loan, which is about 18 lakhs. And I paid off maybe three, four lakhs till now, the last two years. And uh, let's see how, how it goes. Wow. 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 There are so many emotions that I'm feeling right now in this story, man. I uh... <laughs> Thank you for sharing. Thank you for sharing this so openly, so vulnerably. It's not easy. I first have to, I have to share that it is it is almost beautiful the relationship you had with your father and still continue to in so many ways uh, it's very precious the two of you bonding over movies and how he used that as beautiful way to teach you life lessons to stay with you and i'm sure even with his passing there are so many things that he continues to remind you of through movies through the moments that he's spent with you and that is uh, that's immensely precious and and i'm and I'm happy for the fact that you you had him and you continue to have him. And I'm sure you draw strength in so many ways, Raghavendra. There is another twist he, to the story. Which is? There is another twist to the story. See, I had uh, I had a near-death experience when I was 20 years old. I was diagnosed with acute psychosis. I took five years to recover from that while I was working, while I was studying. 
And four years later, when he decided to uh, get into acting, I was diagnosed with bipolar disorder. And uh, it's been a decade. And uh, with, with all of that, I recovered, almost recovered from that. They said, uh, you know, my doctor said that 80% I'm good. I remember my dad now. He was one tough ass son of a gun who said no, who didn't, who didn't take no for an answer. He was a CEO, I'm called. And uh, he told me one thing, son, you fight and you fight till your last breath. Regardless the, of, of the, you know, the odds, the opposition, you rise above. Every time you fall, you just have to get back stronger and stronger and stronger. And the whole the whole world will realize not with your ideas. You might have brilliant ideas, but then the world will judge you with, in terms of result. And get the result done, pass, pass the damn CA. It, I, I, I'm not forcing you to pass it like many many other parents would do, like get a rank or pass it up soon as whatever. They give you opportunity cost and all the bullshit. Don't listen to that. You do it when you want to do it. You do it. You do it for your satisfaction and, and to prove the point to yourself first. And then I'll bless you from the heavens. He told me while he was alive, that was that was that that I'm thankful that no other father could do that. At that point of time, I literally I took a video of him crumbling right in front of my eyes, and then his heart was so strong that he, that he fought till, till his last breath, and his body was giving up. But then his mind and his mind and his heart it was in sync and in perfect harmony, and he died on a Mahashivratri day. And then that's how it transpired. And I will fight. I will. I will fight. And I'm. And I will fight till the last breath as well. He set an example, and I make this world a better place. And then I'm an upcoming actor, auditor, politician, utilitarian coach, life coach, trainer, and I'm not soon to be an entrepreneur. And I get this done. And I'm a business consultant as. You will get this done, my friend. You will get this done. You will get this done. You're blessed in many ways by his conviction, his power, his belief in you and. You know, so many times, Raghavendra, when we don't believe in ourselves, all that we need is just one person to believe in us. And that was him for you. And I wish that all of us had that in our lives. You have him. You will always have him. And I am, I'm very happy for you that you experienced what it is to be his son. And, and that he I gave you everything that he did. Out of, out of all the expenses, my most prized book is yours. You know how to do epic shit, and then I bought in one transaction. I bought the forty thousand even My wife was a little upset. Why are you buying all the books in one go? I just I, I couldn't explain it to her. It's it, it, that's how I roll at times. So I believe in destiny, and uh, um, kudos to you, sir. You have set uh, an example. I've I've, I've seen. I've, no, I've watched a lot of your videos. Uh, no, noted your life, and then how you came back from the US and uh, how you started on your own, and how you know how the meteoric rise from uh, the YouTube. Uh, platform and all of that has been very inspiring and uh, I'm, I'm thankful that I got selected and I have this this uh, this entire conversation is being uh, a, a God sent for me to express myself freely and beyond this I, I know I get, I'm getting to a place where I'm getting and I think it's pretty clear what I, uh, that I'm going to crack it so I'm just, I'm just happy. I, I'm, I'm not even I'm not even going to go through an excel sheet today this is a very different money matters episode and I don't think you need any of my advice. You have gone through so much and you're still here and you've fought so many demons and you've fought so many challenges and kudos to you, credit to you. Yes, you've made mistakes. You have recognized those mistakes. You're willing to correct them. We all make mistakes. And in life, if we're given another chance to redeem ourselves, the ones who do end up redeeming themselves are the ones who always have a story to tell. And you clearly have one to tell. Uh, I am sure things will work out for you, Agavanta. I'm 100% convinced things will work out for you. I will be the least surprised person in the room if one day you're standing in the middle of an entire crowd where everyone's rooting for your name, everyone's shouting out your name, everyone wants a bit of and a piece of you. And my only, my only thing for you will be don't ever forget where you've come from. Don't ever forget all the values and principles that your parents taught you and painstakingly made you experience. And don't ever forget this hard time because this time is the time that shaped you up. This is the moment when you truly became yourself. Every easy moment just made you forget who you are. But every hard moment when you were this close to giving up, but you remembered your father's words of how he never gave up on you. That is what made you into who you are. Never forget that. And as long as you don't, you're going to win, my friend. You're going to win. You're going to win.
you're going to win. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I, I, with your permission, I would actually love to just end the call here and, and not go through the stupid thing of trying to try to even help you. I don't think you require help. I think you've helped yourself enough. And, and we'll continue to. But if there's anything, Raghavind, uh, of course, because it's my responsibility. You came in, you gave me your time. You shared your story so openly, so honestly. Uh, if there's anything that I can help with, uh, please let me know. And if there is in my capacity to help, I will surely help. Definitely. Yeah, but <laughs> it's been uh, it's been wonderful talking to you, Raghavind. Thank you so thank much. You, you. Very, very, thank very you. different experience than what I had planned for. But I am so glad that we got this opportunity to connect and talk. Lovely, lovely, sir. Lovely. Pleasure to be on the show. And uh, I consider it my privilege. Thank you so much. No, absolutely. Keep keep fighting. Keep challenging yourself. Keep reminding yourself of every good thing that you've learned from him and everything that life has taught you. And just stay strong. Sure. You'll get there. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for the reassurance. Thank you. All the best, Raghavan. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, man. Thank you. Thank Pleasure. You. Bye. Proud and inspired. Thank you, sir. इस एपिसोड में तीन चीजें बहुत क्लियरली इमर्ज हो के आई नंबर एक माँ बाप करो हम अक्सर अपने माँ बाप को समझ नहीं पाते पहले तो उनसे प्यार कर बैठते हैं क्योंकि वही लोग होते हैं जो हमें लगता है हमारे भगवान है हमारे खुदा है हमारे सब कुछ है वही हमारी परवरिश करते हैं वही हमारी देखभाल करते हैं वही हमारी सुरक्षा करते हैं लेकिन धीरे धीरे जब हम बड़े होते हैं हम उनसे दूर जाने लगते हैं हमें ऐसा लगता है कि वो हमें समझते नहीं है हमें ऐसा लगता है कि हम उन्हें नहीं समझते हैं हमें लगता है कि हमारे बीच में एक दरमिया आ गई है एन एक ऐसा पॉइंट आता है जहां अगर हम उनके साथ नहीं रहते अगर हम उनके पास नहीं रहते हैं तो हम हफ्ते में महीने में साल में शायद एक बार मिलते हैं कभी बात करते हैं और एक दिन वो चले जाते और तब हमें एहसास होता है कि हमारी जिंदगी से क्या निकल गया क्या चला गया हमारे सर से किसका हाथ उठ गया एंड इस एपिसोड में आई होप यू सॉ कि राघवेंद्र के फादर उनके लिए क्या छोड़ गए जिंदगी भर की सीख जिंदगी भर के एक्सपीरियंसेस और एक अपने ऊपर विश्वास जो शायद राघवेंद्र को खुद पे नहीं था लेकिन उनके पिताजी खुद पे था और जो मैंने बताया कि जिंदगी में जब हम बिल्कुल थक हार चुके होते हैं जब कुछ भी सही नहीं चल रहा होता है तो सिर्फ एक शख्स चाहिए होता है जो हमें ये बोल दे कि मुझे तुम पे भरोसा है तुम्हें शायद खुद पे भरोसा ना हो लेकिन मैं तुम पे यकीन करता हूं और वो इंसान अगर आपकी जिंदगी में आपको मिल जाए तो आप कुछ भी कर सकते हैं ऐसा इंसान राघवेंद्र को अपने फादर में मिला एंड मुझे यकीन है कि आपकी जिंदगी में भी एक ऐसा इंसान है शायद आपको उसे सुनने की जरूरत है क्योंकि शायद उनके बोलने का ढंग वैसा ना हो लेकिन वो जैसे अपने आप को बयां करते हैं वो जैसे अपने विश्वास जो आप पे है उनका वो दिखाते हैं वो अलग है लेकिन वो है जरूर दूसरी चीज आपने देखा होगा सुना होगा कि राघवेंद्र कैसे बुरी तरह कर्ज में फंस गए थे बहुत आसान होता है आजकल की दुनिया में ना लोन पे अप्लाई करके मोबाइल पे अप्लाई करके लोन ले लेना चुटकियों में दे देते हैं वो लेकिन जब आप चुका नहीं पाते ना तो आपकी जिंदगी हराम कर देते हैं वो आपको कॉल करते रहते हैं आपके बॉस को कॉल करेंगे आपकी बीवी आपके बच्चों को कॉल करेंगे आपके माँ बाप को तंग करेंगे वो आपकी परवाह नहीं करते वो आपको एक इंसान के रूप में नहीं देखते हैं उनके लिए सिर्फ और सिर्फ पैसा ही सब कुछ है वो जितनी आसानी से आपको पैसा देंगे उतनी ही बुरी बेरहमी से वो पैसा आपसे वापस वसूल करेंगे प्लीज 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 इस जंगल में मत फंसी पैसा सिर्फ चीजें खरीदने के लिए यूज होता है उन चीजों को खरीदने के लिए अपनी जिंदगी दाव पर मत लगाइए अपने पैसे की इज्जत करिए और जो पैसा आपका नहीं है उसे खर्च मत करिए एंड 
तीसरी चीज उम्मीद मेरी जिंदगी में बहुत बार ऐसा हुआ कि पता ही नहीं आगे क्या पता ही नहीं आगे क्या इतनी बार ऐसा खत्म हो गया इतनी बार पता ही नहीं कि पैसा कहां से आएगा इतनी बार ऐसा लगा कि कोई और रास्ता नहीं है आगे कोई रोशनी नहीं है कोई दिशा नहीं लेकिन आई डोंट नो वाई जब तक आप उम्मीद नहीं छोड़ते हैं ना कुछ तो आपको पकड़ के रखना है संभाल के रखना है जिस दिन आपने उम्मीद छोड़ दी सब कुछ खत्म हो जाता एंड इस कॉल में मैं राघव इंद्र की एक्सेल शीट पे मदद इसलिए नहीं करना चाहता था क्योंकि मुझे उसमें उम्मीद दिखी इस पूरे प्रॉपर्टी का मकसद लोगों को पर्सनल फाइनेंस सिखाना नहीं है क्योंकि वो तो आप सीख चुके हैं और मैं वही सेम चीज घिसी पिटी चीज बोलता रहता हूँ बार बार बोलता रहता हूँ बार बार बोलता रहता हूँ क्योंकि वो जरूरी है और मैं बार बार बोलना चाहता हूँ लेकिन इस प्रॉपर्टी के थ्रू मैं आप में सिर्फ उम्मीद छोड़ना चाहता हूँ कि हाँ बहुत मुश्किल समय है नौकरी नहीं है पैसे नहीं है घर शायद तहस नहस हो रहा है रिश्ते टूट रहे हैं लेकिन मुझे उम्मीद है कि ये सब कुछ सही हो जाए मुझे विश्वास है कि सब कुछ सही हो जाए और मैं इस उम्मीद के सहारे हर रोज उठूंगा इस उम्मीद के सहारे हर रोज पूरी लगन पूरी शिद्दत के साथ काम करूंगा इस उम्मीद को मत छोड़ राघव इंद्र में वो उम्मीद है बहुत क्लियरली दिखती है खोखली नहीं है एंड हाँ उन्होंने बहुत गलतियां करी हैं हाँ जहां वो हैं उसका सारा श्रेय उन्हीं को जाता है उन्हीं की गलती की वजह से वो इस दलदल में फंसे हुए लेकिन वो इससे बाहर भी उन्हीं की वजह से निकल जाएंगे एंड ये उम्मीद उन्हें निकालेगी इस उम्मीद को पूछो इस उम्मीद को पूछो एक बहुत बहुत अलग एपिसोड हो गया लेकिन अच्छा अच्छा रहा अंकुरवारी को साइनिंग ऑफ मेरी नई किताब मेक एपिक मनी एक महीने के अंदर ही एक लाख कॉपीज बेचकर हिंदुस्तान की बेस्ट सेलर बन चुकी है आप इसको ऑर्डर कर सकते हैं अमेजोन इसी के साथ मेरी पहली तो किताबें गेट एपिक शेट डन एंड डू एपिक शेट भी बेस्ट सेलर्स हैं अमेजोन पे अवेलेबल है ऑडियो बुक हिंदी फॉर्मैट एंड इंग्लिश फॉर्मैट ये तीन किताबें आपकी रीडिंग जर्नी को एक आदत में बनाने की